Chad Ferguson here at LearnToCatchCatfish.com and uh, a couple months ago I made a video about uh, catfishing with a baseball bat and uh, to, to this day this remains one of the most popular videos uh, that I've put on LearnToCatchCatfish.com one of the most popular articles and I, I keep forgetting when I'm on the lake to, to make video of uh, actually using this so um, I'm down here in my barn and uh, gonna just make a video here. Later on sometime I'll try to get around to actually showing using this on the water. What I've done is taken a hacksaw here and just cut the end of this baseball bat uh, straight off so it's hollow here. Most of these bats have a hole in the bottom of them so you want to take some silicone or some goop or some kind of glue or something. Basically what I did on this I just had some old silicone caulk. I just smeared it all over the bottom there and then just wrapped it around in duct tape. And um, what I use this for is uh, for uh, soured wheat and for range cubes and um, for chumming for catfish. I take this bat, pour me some soured grain in there, use this and just sling it just like this or over sideways like this and that really allows me to get that soured grain or those range cubes really spread out over a large area and <coughs> really get them out away from the boat. So I can pull up to uh, a mud flat or a point or whatever I'm gonna uh, fish, throw that soured weed out. I don't have to run the boat all the way up on top of the, the fish and I can use this and just really spread it out real good. Um, you give it a try I promise you you'll like it if you're gonna chum for catfish this is one of the absolute best tools you can have to use uh, to sling that chum out really get it spread out I just take from the bucket I got a little scoop I scoop it out of the bucket pour it in there take it sling it and uh, the only thing you got to remember is make sure you plug that hole because if you don't fill that hole up in the bottom uh, as soon as you pour that grain in there it's all going to leak out on your feet and that's not good. So for more information, tips and tricks on catching catfish, go to learntocatchcatfish.com.